Imagine walking around in a public area and seeing people of different ages. There are the old, the young, and then there are some that are right in the middle. We can often estimate one's correct age by just looking at them. But how do we do that? When you look at someone, you guess their age by their appearance. An older person, let's say, is around 80, will generally have wrinkles, grace, hair, and saggy skin. While someone who's around 10 will generally still not be at their full adult height with full natural hair, allowing you to estimate their age. The same can be said for many things on our earth, such as rocks. You can't tell the age of rock by just looking at it, but you might have heard of things such as the earth is 4. billion years old, or this fossil is 35 million years old, or even this layer of rock is 3 million years old. This might make you wonder how geologists determine the age of rocks, fossils, and earth in general. Geologists often use a method of determining an object's age called radiometric dating. Trenton Prep students 6 through 10 have recently started learning about different methods of radiometric dating. Before we get to them, we have to answer the question, what is radiometric dating? Radiometric dating is a method used to date rocks and other objects based on the known decay rate of radioactive isotopes. American chemist Bertram Boltwood first discovered a method of dating in 1907. Before his discovery, scientists already knew that rocks consisted of a natural transpiring radioactive element or isotope, like uranium. A radioactive element is an ingredient of minerals which make up rocks, while radioactive isotopes are a variation of an element. Scientists and geologists also knew that each element or isotope decayed into other elements or isotopes. A radioactive isotope has a very unstable nucleus that, while emitting radiation, loses energy. A parent isotope has a radioactive atom that decays into and results in a daughter isotope. The parent isotope will always decay according to its own rate. Its rate almost never changes. Using this knowledge, Bolt would study the rate of decay and found that whenever there was a mineral sample of uranium, there was always a trace of lead. He believed that this meant that lead was the last element remaining in the uranium decay process. From this, he measured the total amount of lead in the uranium sample. And with the known decay rate of uranium, he determined the approximate age of the rock sample. This, is, this method is one type of radiometric dating, known as uranium lead dating. It was a breakthrough in the science world, as this was an accurate tool for calculating the age and history of rocks, minerals, and more. In uranium lead dating, each radioactive isotope will continue to experience radioactive decay into other isotopes until it is stable, meaning it is no longer radioactive. For uranium-238 to become lead-206, it will undergo 14 radioactive decays. Once it becomes lead-206, it is stable and no longer radioactive. During the process of uranium-238 decaying into lead-206, it will occasionally decay to other isotopes of its parents' uranium isotope and might even decay into a whole different element than its parent. The uranium lead dating is what it, it was initially intended for dating only uranium minerals, but it is now used for mineral zikron. In the radiometric dating process, there are three assumptions that are used. The first is the decay of elements occur at a constant rate. The second is that there has never been an interference in the original conditions. And last is that we know the original amount of radioactive elements. Scientists first use these assumptions when measuring the age of rocks. They use these assumptions because no geologists were present when most rocks were first created, leading them to create an assumption based on research, and the need to have a constant understanding in geologist community. Radiometric dating, more specifically uranium lead dating, has created a more accurate, effective way to date rocks, fossils, and the Earth's productions. Geologists to this day use this method to help them date the ages of different items. Without it, we wouldn't know the age of the Earth, rocks, and many landmarks. Radiometric dating has greatly benefited the scientific, scientific community.